uh, where uh, we were uh, teaching online, uh, meeting twice a week for the first four weeks, and uh, then everyone kind of gathered together in person for this final week uh, to put together the shows that you're going to be seeing this evening. Um, so we are very happy to be here at Recess, opening up SFPC's Electronic Cafe for Poetic Computation. Uh, very cool. This is our first big event in the space. Yeah, let's give it up for SFPC and Recess. Um, so just just kind of breaking in these these lovely CRT monitors that you're you're seeing around you. Um, so we're going to have this internet cafe open throughout the summer uh, until August 19th. Uh, Right now, th these computers are just in kind of web browser mode, but we'll have a, a whole buffet of, of games and weird software on them starting next week for our open computer lab hours, which will be open uh, Thursday through Saturday, 12 to 6 throughout the summer. So uh, please come back and, and check those out. Um, Experiments in Network Performance uh, is a class where we've been working with a lot of different ways of being together on the internet and kind of playing with the idea of performers and audience using phones and computers and these wonderful little uh, networked microcontrollers that uh, Thierry and Sebastian have made. Uh, and just thinking about different ways that with these all these different connected devices and software, we can change the dynamic of being a performer or being an audience, kind of inviting the audience into elements of, of performance, uh, different modes of interaction, changing where the audience can be a performer for a little bit, or the performer and the audience can together be sharing an experience, which maybe is a performance or maybe is a, a shared activity. All, all different sorts of things we've been, been playing with. We've been working with building websites, with websites, Sockets for real-time communication with experimental hardware, uh, with video compositing through OBS and experimental live stream kind of things. And you're going to see the results of that tonight. Uh, a lot of these uh, these projects they've been working on for just about a week and a half. So the, these aren't things that they've been developing for years. They're very much uh, experiments in progress. Uh, but we have uh, some really exciting things to show you this evening. Um, so. I am going to get ready to welcome our first presenters of the evening, uh, who are, let's, let me make sure I get everyone in this piece uh, correctly. We have Logan and Ahmad and Nina, and is there, an, and Nora. Great, give it up for Logan, Ahmad, Nina, and Nora. Hey, Supervisor, can we just do a quick sound check to make sure we can hear you coming through the computer? Sound check. Hello. Yeah, you yeah, can you can hear that, like, approximately. Let's turn, Let's turn it up a little bit. Can you go a little, can you say anything again, Supervisor? Sound check. Hello. Yeah. One more time. One more time. Hello, sound check. Yeah, that's functional. That's functional. You won't have to hear the supervisor too, too okay. much. Thanks. Okay. Well, then. Thanks. Well then, um, supervisor, whenever, whenever you're, whenever you're, you're ready. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Welcome. We're excited to have you here. Among the very first participants in the Federal Borough of Investigation's new pilot program, the Project Government Puppet. Now. Your assigned government puppeteer will give you mostly all of the information you need. I'm just here to supervise. No must, no fuss, you know. It's like sometimes you call a company and they tell you your call may be recorded for training purposes. Just think of me like that, okay? There's a moving camera upstage I'll be using to see everything. So, you know, best behavior and all that. You'll be read your rights and liabilities at the end of the presentation. Thank you. Wow, wow, so that's, so me. that's me then. Hi everyone. Hi, everyone. Well, well uh, uh, I know you're I know here, you're here for, for School for Poetic Computation, computation Performance. performance. Um, um, really sorry, really sorry for, for the bait and switch, bait and switch here. here. This is quite, quite that. To start, to start, but we'll, um, we'll try and get um, through it pretty quick. Pretty quick. Um, um, more than a performance, this is more this like, is more like the U.S. government the US was warning a data grab into it. But I'm unclear as to why I'm hearing a deviation from the rehearsed script. 
Sorry, um, sorry, um, No, sorry. no more sorry. apology. Begin again. You fully skipped your introduction. Okay, okay. Um, I'll just go I'll with just the then. Uh, this will be really exciting. Really exciting. Okay. Okay. Supervisor okay. Supervisor Rejects. Rejects. I say sorry, sorry. Supervisor sorry. Rejects again. Rejects. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. My name is Agent My name is Agent that's because every that's one of us, every one of us, did Puppetry Guild of America, Puppetry Guild of America, Puppetry Guild of America, have been given the opportunity to be 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 given the Okay. okay. Um, anyway, um, I'm here as one of the many new um, and involuntarily drafted um, volunteers for a new data mining for some new states of America. To be very clear, much like Google Maps, Prius is with Maps, Prius is with Prius, Prius cameras all over them. Cameras the United States them. hopes to compete United States with the tech titans of data collection. Alphabet and Meta using puppeteers and their puppets. The reasons they're truly the reasons they're truly the uh, my assumption is if you look uh, at the mishandling of any solution to any problem, any problem in the United States, it's basically a summation of that idea. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. So, um, so um, uh, over the course of the next decade, we're going to begin to see more hand puppets, broad puppets, 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 marionettes, and body puppets, 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 data collection via facial tracking as well as the efficiency of referential location oriented trace composite tracking. Just a fancy way of saying that basically we want to figure out if where our tracing algorithms assumed you'd be is actually where you are. Because if we're right here, we'll be basically right everywhere else. And to be clear, I, I don't mean like we, we, I'm with you. I'm like a, just a regular citizen. Um, Okay, cool. So um, I'm going to need just a couple of volunteers. Don't worry, everyone's going to get a turn, but I'm going to need just a couple people to come forward. There's some cushions here. I've got like four cushions, but if you don't want to sit on a cushion, you could be a fifth volunteer. That's fine. You don't have to raise your hand. You can just stand up. I know it's really exciting when we say we're going to take your data that you, you really want to volunteer here, but um, it will work best if people stand up and come forward and sit on these cushions here. I'll close my eyes. There's no pressure here, you know? I'll turn around and there'll be people on cushions and it's just, it's gonna be great, I'm not even concerned. <laughs> cool, 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 thanks y'all. Um, so yeah, let's just, we'll dive in here. Um, so to be clear, this is, a, this is a prototype, it doesn't have a name. Um, I've been referring to it as the dummy. Um, but you know, we're just, we're just getting this thing up on its feet here. So, uh, seeing. Let's get a good Okay, yeah. Hey. Um so let's um let's begin, yeah? I'm just going to start with some scripted verification questions. Okay. So, um yeah, we'll start we'll start we'll go we'll go left to right. Great. So, um, your name, please. Hey, Chloe. Fabulous. Last name? Dominic. Great. And um, date of birth? July 5th. Uh, 
uh, year? 1990. Sweet. And um, where were you born? Ottawa. Is that a... Yeah, great. Okay, Ottawa. We don't really need your information so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for participating. That's great. All right, we're just going to move along. And um, your name, please. Uh, Asha. Feathers. Last name? Abel. Great. And um, date of birth? June 30th, 2000. Sweet. And um, the name of your first grade teacher, just for verification purposes. That works for us. Great. Okay, I think um, that's all the data we're going to need for right now. Thank you very much. All right, can we do a little? <laughs> fab, fab. Really good. Really good. Okay, so um, your name, please. My name is Ari. Great. Last name, Ari. Kaplan. Sweet. Thank you, Ari. And um, the date of your birth, please. October 9th, 1998. Sweet. And um, the name of the, uh, the street where you grew up? Uh, Mount View Avenue. Sweet. And uh, street address? Uh, 3775. Is that? Uh, I don't know if that's correct, but we'll, <laughs> we, can, we, can, we can correct it in the, in the, the after. Here it's a fun. It's no big deal. All right. And um, let's go. Ooh, one last participant for this round. Fabulous. And um, your name, please. I'm Abby. Abby, your last name. Have a music game. <laughs> Fabulous. And uh, Denver. December 3rd, 2001. Sweet. And your social security number. <laughs> you know what? Don't even. In the, I get it. Uh, we, we've already got it. We've got it. Don't even. <laughs> okay, good, good. This is really great. So let's just. We'll tag this on. Let's do a little. Uh, can we move it? Yeah, let's come on back. Okay, so the first round is complete. Very helpful. Thank you, everybody. Now, um, what it, basically, what we're going to do now. Um, and hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll do this as quickly as we can. I'm going to have everyone who's sitting here, when I say go, um, in the front row, you're going to stand up. You're going to move to the back of the room. We're going to have everyone advance one row forward. And we're just going to do this basically until we've gone through uh, everyone. My name Just, is again, Walt. pilot program. Walt. We're still working out the kinks. Walt really Flower. appreciate your participation. Yes. Um, Wallflower. So let's... A pre pretty name. I chose it for myself. And you might not know it, but I actually have a complex system of thoughts and feelings. But enough about me. In spite of everything you may think you know about data mining, data aggregation, data management, and data theft by large corporations and governments, you may be surprised to know what your data looks like. Co-mingling all together, one cosmic, universal organism with a complex, diverse, Contrasting beliefs, wants, desires, needs, and love. One connected species as galactic individual. Allow. Will you allow me to? Allow me to show you. Agent Hoover. If you will.
this is the part where the supervisor comes in and tells you that's the end of the thing, but I don't, I don't see the supervisor there. So I'll just jump to the next slide. She would have said that, you know, we'll be in touch about your rights, responsibilities, and liabilities. Hey, that's oh. enough of that. Okay. Thank you all for your participation in Project Government Puppet. Rest assured that your information will be treated with the utmost care and discretion by all of us here at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. For more information, as well as details on your rights, responsibilities, and liability, feel free to contact your local New York FBI field office at 212-384-1000. God bless you. Everyone for participating in this experiment. All right, thank you so much. Uh, Again, that was Logan, Nina, Nora, and Ahmad from, uh, from that, uh, that performance. Yeah, let's give it up for them one more time. Uh, so we have another group of four who's getting set up right now. Uh, we're about to be uh, experiencing a, uh, a, a, a wonderful poetic meditation from, uh, from Porpla, Mary Faye, Luna, and Kasra. Um, Gonna let them get set up for uh, a minute here. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah. Uh, um, just uh, shout outs to uh, to Marvin's, our our wonderful camera person, and shout out to Celine and American from SFPC helping out with the the show tonight. Thank you. Um, just holding holding the floor here. Just holding the mic. Just having a moment with the online audience. Just kind of moving around the orbit of a camera, just spinning in that giant cosmic washing machine we call life, orbiting planetarily, moving through space. Uh, hello, hello everyone. Uh, uh, it's still, still me, Todd, your host, still holding the attention so they don't have to. Just carrying that weight, thank you. Uh, it, it's, it's always nice to have exactly one fan. Uh, oh no! Um, um, yeah, uh, we, we're. Are, are you, oh, thank you. <laughs> I, th I thought you were trying to take the mic from me, but don't try and take the mic from me. I'm gonna do this forever. Uh, man, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can tell you a little more about some some things we talked about in the in the class. We saw a little bit of an example in uh, in that last. Ex Last class, uh, uh, we unfortunately did not teach uh, teach puppetry in this class. Uh, Logan had to bring that all in themselves, but uh, we we did um, in in some of Thierry's classes look at ways of capturing video and voice and extracting data from that and turning it into animations and different sorts of things. And it's uh, it's kind of hard to send like video and audio live through the network. And so one of the things we, we like to play with in this class is how, like, if you open a website, uh, we, it's not hard on a website to, like, run your camera inside of the website. It's hard to just send that video to someone else's computer. But maybe if we just capture whether your left eye is winking, then if you're just, like, winking your left eye into the camera, then we don't need to send your whole video feed. We can just have your left eye winking fire a bazooka on another computer somewhere in the world. And there's all kinds of ideas you can build with that idea. Just like a little gesture you do with your face, a little sound that you make, becomes something else entirely on the other side in this sort of share, shared experience. Uh, so you'll be seeing a lot, of, uh, a lot of pieces that maybe experiment with different types of, of video and voice in that way. I think we're going to be playing with a, a little more voice work in this class. Uh, I'm feeling that I am hindering the setup process. Not that I couldn't just talk to you for hours, but I am going to put my mic away and tell you about some other stuff in a bit.
My name is Luna, um, and tonight I'm going to ask everyone to try and write a poem together using a simple website as a digital basket and AI as a collective interpreter. So first with me, close your eyes. Let your mind clear. And take a deep breath. In and out. In and out. One more time. In and out. So next. I would like to invite a few volunteers to come up and join me up here to form a Buddhist meditation circle. Whoever, however many, whoever wants to. Oh no, come up here, come up here. Please come, be brave. I'll turn around, just like Logan did. to form a circle as best as you can. You go ahead and move here. And now will everyone turn to the screen? Can you guys see okay? start walking in a circle. <laughs> As we walk in a circle, we allow the rhythm to guide us. Breathing in, trying to form a cohesive energy flow, following the music, following your peers. reflect on truth. What is something you believe to be genuinely true, a truth you hold close to your heart? And as you feel compelled, with the rhythm of the gong, step to the mic in the center and speak your truth. Whether a phrase or a word, share something true. And if 
sound from the audience is feeling crazy. Please come up. <laughs> sit down and think, you know, like think towards our AI friend out there, maybe Casera <laughs> and Bentley. It's hard to write a poem. It's hard for humans to write poems. It's hard for computers to write poems. So wish them luck. Send our prayers. Or, you know, send negative thoughts. Whatever compels you.
you guys. Can I have a special shout out to all my volunteers? Thank you. Thanks, AI, for doing your best. <laughs> Let's give it up one more time to Luna, Mary Faye, and Porkla, and Kasra, who is remote. <laughs> up next, we are going to bring up Tansy Shaw, uh, who's going to have a wonderful chat room experience for us. This is not dramatic or musical entertainment. You are not uncaring of spectators or listeners at usual public. We must 
How does a DDO military activity directed toward making or doing something? Advertisement usually printed on a page or in a leaflet. Quantity no importance is too sacred to cover in melty solid foods prepared from the pressed curd of milk.
Something that is remembered. Um, the Scomlocution Chamber is a networked chat room where the announcing user input sentences are automatically substituted with their dictionary definitions. Um, it exposes the linguistic strategies employed by politicians and authority figures um, to evade um, addressing the core subject matter. The floating objects in this space include a totalitarian monument, if you recognize that a Soviet monument, and a space structure, a royal seat, a military vehicle, and numerous seeds of the rubber tree. If you don't know about the rubber tree, it's a vegetation that played a significant role in the global colonialism during the late 19th and early 20th centuries, leading to economic exploitation, land appropriation, and forced labor. Um, whenever objects of power collide um, in this space, um, they emit Sounds, comparing the participants to silence themselves, so shut up. Um, by clicking the control key, actually, I, I didn't even tell you to click the control key, otherwise it's gonna be even more crazy. Um, the viewers gains temporary control over the floating objects for like 15 seconds while the system generates more rubber tree seeds. So whoever is in power, it generates more rubber tree seeds. And certain keywords um, will trigger an explosion that reveals a cluster of rocks known as the so the, <laughs> um, uh, those, those rocks are known as the conflict minerals. Um, so if you don't know the conflict minerals, um, they are mined in areas affected by armed conflict and human rights abuses in Central Africa. Um, and these minerals are widely used in, in manufacturing the electronic devices that we use today. So this is what the piece is about. And, um, in an ideal situation, I, did, I didn't have like a paid server for Python, but in an ideal situation, all the audiences can, can interact on this platform and succumb to your speech. Yeah. Coming up next, we have Paloma and Solomon uh, with some support from Castra. 
I uh, yes, I think we are going to be doing a little uh, a little maybe dragon fighting, a little transforming of the of the space. Um, so we are going to do a little transition here, and I'm going to help set up now. Devalu Solomon and Kazra, and um, yeah, this class has been really interesting and informative. And so it involves um, this microcontroller, which I'm going to pass around. Um, so this video is going to hopefully explain everything, and then I'll pass it to the first person I see. <laughs>
I think that's all. Thank you. Let's give it up for Paloma and Solomon the Dragon. If it wasn't clear, the, the dragon was, in addition to Solomon, being controlled by the internet. Uh, so we, we defeated it with our, our beautiful flower. Uh, a, w a moving story about how to grow in this modern age. Um, uh, uh, coming up next to the stage, we are uh, pleased to be joined by noted games preservationist Ahmad. Uh, uh, Ahmad uh, recently discovered something very interesting. I'm excited to see what he has to share. technology uh, in the early 1990s to create an immersive digital rendition of the activity that brought them so much joy. Unfortunately, the project ended up being way too ambitious ahead of its time, just, just not meant to be. The motion tracking technology they wanted to use was very buggy. Um, they pitched the demo to publishers and many said the game was just boring. So they gave up never to try anything like this again. Um, However, though, on the flip side, in the coming decades, uh, Mythos formed around the project, uh, and it slowly became one of the most legendary examples of vaporware. Um, however, earlier this year, the source code of the uh, game in an unfinished but playable version was posted on, on a forum by an anon anonymous user, and volunteers have since recreated the game on the modern web. So the original gameplay is largely intact, and thanks to improvements in webcam and motion detection technology since, the developer's vision has materialized, and uh, we are unveiling this for the first time today.
It's from 1993. It takes, it takes a while to load. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're, in, we're in beautiful Marine Park, Brooklyn. Um, it's, it's, like, it's like I'm there, like basically. Like it's, it's, it's aged so well. Um, and basically, yeah, we see all these beautiful birds. Um, I think the webcam isn't on, so my hand isn't being picked up. Oh, no. <laughs> and then we're on film, so we already wasted, already wasted one. Uh, not using, oh, no. Wait, where's my camera? Uh, wait, there. Oh, it's back. Someone had muted my camera. Uh, I think we refresh here. All right. Yay. So, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Um, yeah, so we have a couple, a couple of different birds here already. Um, we, can, we, can, we can go hover over one of them, take a picture. We got to be careful because if we, if we make too much noise, we, we scare some of the birds away. But they'll, they'll come back. Um, and we can slowly go to the arrow and go to a different scene. Hey, what's that? It's a herring gong. Right there. Can we take a picture of him? Scared him? Okay. So, let's see. Let's see where else. Oh, there's an egret. Okay. Great egret. Let's, let's get that. Nice. We didn't scare him. Okay. So we got, oh, we got a monk parakeet up there. Those are pretty rare, but you do see them sometimes. Let's keep going. Actually, yeah, let's go. Let's go left. Or right, rather. Let's try to go. So this is 1993 technology, so it doesn't, it doesn't track the camera. Sometimes it disappears, but. Oh, hey, we got a morning dove right there. All right, all right, let's, let's keep this guy. Nice. Got a. Back, another, you got a, I think it's a blue, great blue heron. I think he's eating some fish. Um, <laughs> all right, hey, hey, another one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got some, some smaller birds, we got some, some cardinals, some blackbirds. It's just like the, the immersion is like crazy. Like it, it feels like I'm like really there. <laughs> okay, we got five five more left. Be really careful. Oh, it's a snow wow. snow egret. Look at him. <laughs> and we got we got a brant down there. Let's look. we got a way to catch him. It's kind of rare. <laughs> Some more, some more birds we've already seen, but we can, we can get some more. Ah, game over. We ran out. Um, so the creators of this game, they also they also want to have like an educational element. So you know, here's this list of all, all the birds that we we got today. Um, you know, you can you can click on them, and then the people who restored this game. They actually they actually link these birds out, so you can you can learn more about them on allaboutbirds.org. Uh, but yeah, that's. Uh, that's, that's all I got. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's on uh, if you go to Birding Simulator 1993. Birding Simulator 1993. Whoa! An amazing archival recovery. Um, thank you so much, Mod. Um, uh, next, we're going to have Matt and Nora up here, and I'm going to be helping them set up, and I believe we just have two more presentations. So this next one, and then the one after that, equals two more performances.
light and audio around you. Um, cool. Oh, wait, sorry. I don't think my, is it playing? Hold on one second, sorry. Just uh, one moment here. Sorry, I think we got, we have a false alarm. I lost, I lost the bottom video. Did I? Oh no, okay, we're good, we're good. All right. in the reflection, you are what you see. And then repeat this mantra, um, I am becoming one with technology, I am becoming one with the universe. Okay, you can follow me. I am, I am becoming technology. one with technology. I am becoming, I am becoming one, with one with the universe. I am becoming, becoming one with technology. I am becoming one with the universe. I am becoming technology. I am becoming one with the universe. I am becoming Okay, you can pause on the mantra. I am becoming one with the universe. I am becoming technology. I am becoming one with the universe. and your gaze is softened, you can start to see and feel that there's more than one face in the screen and that perhaps it's a portal. And I am becoming Okay, thank you.
it's me again. Um, w w we've got one, one final performer who, who is Asha. Uh, let's give it up for Asha uh, as they make their way to the stage. Um, Asha, do you want it still dark in here or should I turn the lights back on? Yeah. Uh, uh, the computers don't make sound already. Uh, uh, can w we please uh, again have that really impressive tactile sensation of pressing the on button on these monitors as we are going to use them. itself to show your colors to everyone or you guys can come up and dance here <laughs> um, yeah so I have nothing else to say let's go <laughs>
others in need.
performers tonight. Uh, it, it's been a, a real pleasure to, to be your MC and to be directly under this scalding bright light. Uh, uh, we, we had a lot of fun tonight. Uh, I just want to remind you, this is the opening for SFPC's residency at Recess this summer. Give it up for Recess. Uh, when we are not operating as an anime rave, we are operating as an internet cafe, 12 to 6, uh, Thursday through Saturday this summer. Uh, we're going to have all these lovely CRT monitors with uh, fun little mini PCs that have uh, have nice little AMD cards in them that can play, s play some games, run some weird software. We're going to put lots of fun things on them, and you can come check it out. Come, come stop by in the future. We also have uh, a bunch of great workshops coming up. You can check it out at sfpc.study slash ECPC, Electronic Cafe for Poetic Computation, uh, if you'd like to take a workshop. Uh, and uh, yeah, just big thanks to, to everyone uh, who helped make this show happen, all our presenters who you saw, Yu Guang Zhang, Terry Kananaruk, Sebastian Morales, Marvin Zahn Makema, uh, I'm Todd Anderson, and I'm going to use this momentum to end the set. I've made the sentence already go on longer than it should have, but now the show is over. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>